Hello and welcome everyone, I am Maddles, this is Heart of the Swarm, and we have got a TVP coming up. So, in the top right position, as the Red Terran player for Team Maus Esports, we do have Hero Marine. And now, in the lower left position, as the blue Protoss for Team Prime, it is Lucy. And that means the TVP action is definitely in store for us tonight, and I am... This is the first game of what I can only describe as a absolutely epic castathon. Like, to put this in perspective, it is currently half twelve on a Saturday afternoon, and I'm pretty much going to be casting non stop from now until the beta closes. Um, so that is that is going to be pretty fun. This game may not even like the games I record will be released while we wait for obviously the main release of Heart of the Swarm, but it's just going to be good times to be honest. So I'm going to be seeing an awful lot of StarCraft, I've got an awful lot of games banked up, ready to go. And that is just going to mean that I'm going to be all StarCraft out, I'm going to be dreaming about StarCraft. I'm going to shut my eyes, every time I blink I will see StarCraft, that is how ingrained into my retina it's going to be. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about what could be happening in this match. First things first is that probably not anything too crazy. We see that we've got the barracks coming down, we've got the gateway coming down, and that's what we should expect. It's not going to be any early cheese. The gas is a slight variation that Hero Marine is going for. Could be for a Reaper early on, could be for a quicker factory. Those are the two options really available. And it just means that the command center will be a little bit delayed if it is going to be a quick expansion. Meanwhile, for Lucy Prime, getting the gas down, should see a cyber core, and then probably going to go and take a Nexus. In 9 times out of 10, that's what you'll see happen at the moment. Players favoring, especially at this sort of level, to get a quick natural base down, focus on the economy, and just survive the early game. It's all about positioning themselves so that actually, if my opponent was going for some super early aggression, I won't die, but obviously I want to make sure my mid game is as strong as possible and that's what everyone really is going to be looking out for. We see that a good amount of gas getting mined but the probe did manage to get in because this wall off wasn't complete and therefore scouted all the information required and oh we're not going to see a quick nexus out of Lucy because there is a second gas coming down and a second gas means one thing and one thing only that there will be quite a lot of tech play. The Reaper on its way out now so that's really to be expected and behind this the Cybercorp. So this is absolutely fine, nothing too crazy. There is a gap here though still, and the reason that's a problem, you have knocked out this little bit where you can run through with Reapers, but you want to try and minimize the different directions the Reapers could potentially go, just to make them a bit easier to deal with. But with the Mothership Core getting Chrono boosted out, it should be out far before the first Reaper actually gets over because it's only just finishing up now. And as a result of that, Hero Marine isn't going to get too much fun out of it. We do have the Command Center coming down behind it though, so this is just really for map dominance. One SCV left in the gas, that's an important thing to note as well for Hero Marine. Not trying to get too much of a gas income, just to trickle more minerals, that's what's allowed this natural Command Center to come down a bit earlier the bunker also on its way but for Lucy Prime we can just see that there's six probes in gas walk a tech on its way down no sign of anything else yet there's not enough gas for it just reaching the hundred gas mark got a probe sitting on the low ground maybe trying to fake out that there's gonna be an expansion and as we see the Reaper coming in and it's gonna just start attacking that probe but the Reaper probably gonna very easily just come straight up into this base see the double gas the chrono boost coming down but the mothership core on the other side of the map so it cannot come down to defend this it's gonna be all up to the stalker both gas have been seen there's robotics facility and the mothership core is just gonna be able to grant some vision of the high ground be able to do a little bit of damage try and pick things off and this is just a nice little play that a lot of Protoss players have been doing against Terran because you can harass this supply depot and this will supply block your opponent and it's really just quite annoying there's nothing really that a Terran player can do to stop it it's really really difficult but that's why we saw the early double gas is to get that mothership core out so quickly we see that Hero Marine even though he built another supply depot is Oh, well, he's only got two free supply. The Stalker now running up into the main base. That is very frustrating. And this means that potentially SCV is going to have to be pulled. Marine's going to have to kite very, very carefully. Mothership Core does have enough energy for a mass recall. And there we go with it down. But gets a full scout off as well. Knows precisely what Hero Marine is going to be doing. And behind this, we see that the Nexus did come down. Stim on its way out. So this is going towards the standard mid-game composition that Hero Marine knows and likes, which is Marine Marauder. May see an engineering bay come down shortly, especially that second refinement getting constructed as we speak and the Reaper just still able to poke and prod and do a little bit of damage uh, the Observer on its way out we do have double gateway as well so just with all of this coming together both these two heading towards the mid game heading towards much more standard play 
and that earlier aggression just, well, it didn't lose Lucy anything, but did manage to knock out that supply depot, which, as you can see, is still being quite irritating. The supply block will get cleaned up as that supply depot finishes, but the engineering bay coming down now will be for plus one infantry weapons. And then you have the opportunity for some quite nice little timing pushes with the plus one infantry weapons and stim, maybe even with combat shield as well. And that's when you can really start doing some nice damage if your opponent hasn't teched up in order to get some really good splash damage or has a good number of sentries out to get some nice force fields. But meanwhile, just that stalker running down the reaper. Oh, the reaper, don't do it to your death. Ooh, just slips past. Gonna come down. Make sure that he gets a good read of what his opponent's doing. The first observer is obviously very, very important because as it's coming over the map now, you get a very good vision. And Lucy actually going up to three observers, so gonna have great map awareness, know precisely what Hero Marine is gonna be throwing at him. And as such, should be able to just defend it all off and prepare appropriately. We see the factory coming down. That's most likely just in order to get some medevacs out. Sees the tech lab researching something. He's the second tech lab as well. That's really quite an important little scout out. I believe the engineering ray was spotted if I take a look. Yep, so knows that it's going to be a plus one timing push most likely with probably two medevacs. So now you've got all of that together, we can see that the sentry count looking very nice indeed, the mothership core there. We've got the robotics bay getting started quite early on, so quick colossi will be coming out, that is fine. The third command center is now on way, and we can see that Lucy Prime has no clue that is on, on its way out. We see the reactor and also the starport coming down, so this is just all gearing up to be a plus one infantry weapons with combat shield, with most likely um, two medevacs in terms of the push and it is a nice little push the stalker force back seeing it as a watchtower the observer though will get a good read on precisely how much army's there see if it's going to be moving up now or whether it's going to be waiting a little while meanwhile though we do have the stargate coming out as well so this is just really teching up quite comfortably the observer getting a really nice look and you can see how beneficial having these extra observers out is for Lucy in this situation because you know exactly where your opponent's moving to you know precisely what they've got and when you need to really get prepared for dealing with it that reaper unfortunately will go down the mothership does take it out we see two workers have been killed by hero marine so far but he's just waiting and the reason he's waiting are for these two medevacs he wants two medevacs in there the plus one concussive shells and combat shield will all be complete it's a very very strong timing push but the first colossus could very well be out especially if those chrono boosts are kept up we've got the one one upgrades coming out as well behind this plus one infantry armor on its way for hero marine and that just means that with the colossus out it can still get sniped out especially if extended thermal lance isn't done in time but all in all, I wouldn't be too worried if I was Lucy Prime now. Hero Marine has pulled back. He's just going to secure his third, so may not even go for this push. Instead, just faking it, being aggressive. And you may be thinking, Maddles, why would you do that? And the reason being is it just puts a bit of fear in. And if these two observers went out and didn't see the retreat, and this observer didn't see the units moving back out, you could get a bit confused on the read of your opponent. Of what are they doing? Are they going to be trying to do it? And look at that scan, just making sure there's no observer around. That is a really smart move because then the drop should be unbeknown. But as we can see, we do have a good number of stalkers sitting down in the main base. The rest of the units coming down the side. So it's going to be a multi prong attack. The factory coming in forward, and the observer will get a look at the army coming through, realize, hey, that's that's too small, but the stalker's already up there ready to stop this. The boost could go down, and it all depends on the angle because those stalkers slightly out of position, and a good boost could potentially now let all these units in. But Lucy Prime is not going to fall for it, does see everything that's coming down. But there's the scan from Hero Marine, and he managed to drop down all of these units, and this is going to be a really, really powerful push. Meanwhile, at the third base position, there is a lot more units, but the Colossus coming in from behind will put an end to all of this drop play. The units pulling back ASAP. The two oracles slipping through the side. I don't know if they were spotted. We don't see any missile turrets coming down yet so that potentially could do a nice amount of damage the double drop was forced back a couple of units went down not too much lost and all in all with this scan which does not see the stargate this stargate is completely unbeknown it just means that actually i'm trying to work out what is my opponent doing because being way 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 too passive and this is going to come as quite a shock there's nothing here to defend in the main base and these oracles are going to rack up so many scb kills this is very problematic a lot of lost mining time will no doubt go out and the oracles can just keep going 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 for it we've got some marines on their way back the two vikings are there they will shut these oracles down very quickly indeed but alas they will then go up as two big green grenades which is the beauty of the new physics engine these two oracles just going to split apart we see a lot of lost mining time up towards the main base but even though the vikings have cleaned out one of these oracles the second one should get a couple more kills should it want to or it may just go and run away and it seems that running away is the preferred method of keeping your oracles alive. So, 
What else have we got coming down? Well, the factory's landed denying the Nexus. That's frustrating. Means these units have got to come down and kill it, which just wastes a bit of time, delays all the timings that Lucy may want to be trying to hit. But to be honest, it's not a massive issue. It's just buying Hero Marine a little bit more time in order to get down some more upgrades. Two, two upgrades are coming down for the infantry as well as ship weapons in direct response to the Colossus. That is already on the field and now with the High Templar coming out though we see Lucy Prime doing that beautiful tech switch only a single Colossus is on the field and already six Vikings are out with two more in production and this is something that all Terran players have to be very very careful of moving into the later stages of the game is what if you get faked out by your opponent? If you see that early Colossus, make very sure that there's more coming out before you overproduce Vikings because a lot of Protoss players, just as Lucy is doing now, will get down the one Colossus and tech switch immediately into Size Storm and as such you'll get an awful lot of Vikings which will do an awful lot of nothing and you won't have your ghosts out that just means that you won't be able to deal with those High Templars appropriately. So at the moment due to that I would say Lucy Prime is in a good tech position but Hero Marine at 183 supply to 133 supply of the Protoss. That's a 50 supply advantage. The worker count heavily in Hero Marine's favour. And as such, with the third base already up and running, with the three mules, the income is going to be astronomically better for our Red Terran player, as we're seeing from that bar graph there. So, all in all, I would say now this is going to be pretty much in Marine's favour, but the downside for Hero Marine is these Vikings. There's only one Colossus out, as I previously mentioned, and as such, that many Vikings are going to be fairly useless. They will pretty much one-shot the, the Colossus and then be like, oh, there's only one of them there, and then be no more use at all. There goes down some storms, going to force back this army. Lucy Prime does have to just be a little bit cautious. More stands are coming down from Hero Marine there, just making sure no observers are around, making sure that he could go for the drop, which is precisely what he's doing now. The double drop coming in, but there's a nice storm. A lot of those units get cleaned out. No damage really done there. Lucy Prime really effective at shutting down this drop play, but in comes another engagement. Some storms are hitting just straight on the money. The infantry not pulled back quite quickly enough. See some good damage getting done there. The Vikings trying to land after the Colossus is dead, but with just such a large force on the ground, with the 2-2 two, two upgrades already finished compared to the 2-1 of Lucy Prime, Hero Marine has got a very strong force here, and as these High Templar use storms, there is less and less available. I believe there is about to be one up on one of the High Templars, some more High Templar also getting warped in, but this third base potentially in a lot of problems, because Lucy Prime is going to be spread very thin indeed. No more Colossi are in production. The first Ghosts are on their way out. We have the fourth command center just getting started as well oh the fifth command center rather the fourth one just completed and as such hero marine just in a great economical spot and actually pulling back now after that engagement knows that there's a lot of high templar there and ultimately without some ghosts i don't want to engage this army head on i need those emps i need those snipes the first class is on its way out now one cannon one high templar waiting in the main base for drop defense of course one good feedback on a high energy met medevac would destroy it so this is just solid play from both of these two. We've also got a good number of zealots down here. What are they going to be doing? And well, as we can see, a large infantry force is going to put an end to this push. And the zealots from the flank of the side are going to be coming down. Now it all comes down to the engagement. Some storms are starting to hit. Not getting that many units though. We did. I did hear an EMP. I am sure. Also a couple of feedbacks going down. But zealots just charging in towards the third base, trying to do a nice little bit of damage. A couple going up towards the natural as well, but not doing much damage, I must say. And as a result of that, here. Marine isn't looking to be in a massive problem. Lucy Prime has killed nine workers. The two zealots that were heading towards the natural base have died. And now just the High Templar chilling down here with the War Prism. So potentially some drops going down. The Colossus out yet again. No additional Colossi in production. Instead just getting some Immortals. The fourth base trying to get secured because as we can see Hero Marine is already mining from that fourth. The fifth command center morphing into an, an orbital command. And as we can see now Hero Marine spending all of his minerals on getting a lot more CCs up, which is exactly what you want to be doing at this stage of the game. Work account wise, 71 SCVs to 66 probes. The Observer getting a get great, great read on precisely what the Terran player has got down here. We do see some Archons are morphing. The Vikings trying to gain a nice position to snipe off that Colossus, and they should go down very quickly. The 3 3 upgrades are nearly complete for Hero Marine, but the engagement seems to be coming down before they are done. He feels that he has got a great position there. A storm going down on some of the Vikings, but the Colossus already on incredibly low health. Photon Overcharge has now been used on the Nexus, trying to do a little bit of extra damage, but almost certainly going to go down either nothing that Lucy Prime is going to be able to do to save this and this is a big loss for the Protoss. Now a three base Protoss against a four base 
Terran with an awful lot of additional command centers around. Hero Marine looking to be very, very strong here. Going to pick up a lot of these probes that unfortunately are just rallying back. But a flank or a surround coming from behind. Lucy Prime wants to trap this army. Feeling quite confident with that. And in come all of these units. Where are the storms? The scans go down just to get a nice little look. But here comes some storms. A big storm hitting on the bottom edge of that army right now. The third Nexus is getting taken out though. Instantly goes down and now... This is going to really hurt the economy. Even if Hero Marine loses quite a lot of stuff here, he's going to boost away with four medevacs worth of units, and he killed two Nexi for that push. I would definitely say that was cost-effective, but the counter-aggression could be very, very dangerous. We can see already Lucy Prime knows that he's got to go for that. We've got the four medevacs coming over. A couple of Stalkers moved in a genius play to try and block them off, but the, luckily... For Hero Marine, he is paying attention, sees that coming. But this center base for Hero Marine, the planetary fortress, is in a lot of problems. Where are the reinforcements? The answer is there's just not enough of them. His army is split apart from each other, and that means that the center base almost certain to fall. SCVs are repairing. The planetary fortress will be able to do a nice amount of damage, but it's just it is gonna go down. It's just how much it can kill before then. The two colossi from the back really aiding in that damage. But the four medevacs are gonna drop all of these marauders and marines back down tonight. The third base yet again. Where are the reinforcements? That is what's so important. Well, they are just sitting back. They have got to buy their time. You don't want to engage this army until you are sure you are going to at least neutralize it because otherwise you are going to have some major, major problems. The Vikings moving forward going to try and get a snipe off on those Colossi. But for the moment, Lucy Prime just isn't pushing in. And as we can see, with some warpins, with some storms, this drop at the third base is stunning to get taken out. Supply-wise, we see that Lucy Prime is slightly ahead. But the medevacs picking up, running away yet again. The third base has been taken out. That means just one mining base. The main is completely empty. And that just puts the income for our Protoss player so much lower. A thousand more resources, uh, a thousand more minerals per minute coming up for Hero Marine at the moment. Who has also got four additional orbital commands. So many mules there. That income is potentially so high. And just ready to resecure this fourth base whenever so suits. The production looking great. Hero Marine now catching up in terms of that supply count. But also, these three medevacs do need to just get back home. They're wasted supply while they're just sitting there in the middle of nowhere, potentially getting ready to try and attack this base yet again. There is the Marine and two Marauders. There is a single High Templar there. Is it going to try and storm? Is it going to get taken out before then? No feedback goes down on the medevac, making sure it cannot retreat, but getting that is all good. Meanwhile, we do see that some Stalkers running into their death. A scan going off, making sure that there is no Observer around. And now this third base so desperate, so critical to Lucy being able to stay in this game. While the standing army is good with Without the income, you're never going to be in too much of a great space. We see the Orbital Command now just moving to retake this fourth. Are we going to see any of the other Orbital Commands move down to some of the other expansions? One lone High Templar guarding down here. Keeping an eye out for whatever may come. Army supplies wise, now Hero Marine has retaken the lead. A good storm goes down there, as well as a feedback on some of those ghosts. So, a couple of tech ghosts, a couple of good storms, wasting some medevac energy. That's always nice. Another very nice storm down there, and the engagement is going to be coming on. There's so many Archons in here, but some great EMPs going off. And as we can see, it looks like Hero Marine is really winning this fight for the time being. The Archons, though, are just staying up, and that could be the problem. But Lucy Prime supply, so, oh, so low. A couple of Archons still remaining, but they have got so little energy and well the ghosts all cloaked they are trying to deal the damage they are trying to get the snipes off and while they are just running through Lucy Prime he may have these Archons running into the main base but they are inevitably going to die fairly quickly in come more units in come more ghosts and well some good snipes on these psionic units are going to be very very painful but as we can see the ghost is taking out everything there is and I don't believe any observer and therefore there is the GG and Hero Marine was victorious in that very very close game so I hope you all enjoyed that remember like the video leave a cool comment and subscribe and I hope to see each and every one of you tomorrow for yet another new cast thanks for watching and bye for now